Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss bilirubin metabolism. It will be a series of videos where we will explain different types of jaundice. So if you want to learn about jaundice, you must have a clear conception of the physiology of bilirubin metabolism. That's exactly what we are going to learn today. If you are new to this channel, my name is Paul. I post videos on the USMLE and MCC exams every week. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share with your friends. This will inspire me to make more videos like this. Now let's jump into the video. So bilirubin metabolism starts with the breakdown of RBC. It happens in the reticular endothelial system, particularly in the spleen. What happens? RBC has a lifespan of an average of 120 days. So macrophages pick those RBCs and break them down into hemoglobin and protein. Protein will further break down into amino acids and will be used by the body. Then hemoglobin will break down into heme and globin. Again, globin will eventually break into amino acids and will be reused. Now heme will convert into biliverdin and iron with the help of heme oxygenase. Then iron will bind with apoferritin and convert into ferritin. This ferritin is a monomer and all these monomers of ferritin combine to produce a polymer of ferritin called hemosiderin. This hemosiderin is ultimately stored in the body. We will not proceed further here because iron metabolism is not the concern for this video. Just giving you a bit of what exactly happens to iron. Now biliverdin will turn into bilirubin with the help of bilirubin reductase. It all happens in the macrophage. So macrophage picks RBC and releases bilirubin into circulation. As this process is outside the vascular system, hence called extravascular hemolysis. So bilirubin is now in circulation. It is a toxic molecule, hence it must be disposed safely. Bilirubin will then bind with the plasma proteins such as albumin. Then this molecule is called conjugated. No, it is called unconjugated bilirubin. This unconjugated bilirubin has two significant properties. One is it is albumin bound and the other is it is water insoluble. So as this molecule is protein bound, water insoluble, it will not pass through the urine. This is very important to remember. Unconjugated bilirubin is protein bound, water insoluble, and it does not pass through the urine. Then this unconjugated bilirubin will be taken by hepatocytes. Here you can see a picture. In the hepatocyte, unconjugated bilirubin will bind with glucuronic acid with the help of UDP glucuronyl transferase enzyme. Then it is called conjugated bilirubin. This conjugated bilirubin is water soluble and hence can pass through the urine. This conjugated bilirubin now will enter the biliary system through intracellular transport. This is again important to remember because pathologies are related to this transport. Then conjugated bilirubin will pass through right left hepatic duct, common hepatic duct. The cystic duct will add with common hepatic duct forming common bile duct ultimately through the ampulla vitae to GI tract. In the GI tract, this conjugated bilirubin will convert into urobilinogen with the help of different enzymes and bacteria. The majority of this urobilinogen will pass through the GI tract and turn into stercobilinogen, which is responsible for the normal color of the stool. Now, a small portion of this urobilinogen will be reabsorbed from the GI tract. This reabsorbed urobilinogen may again recycle into GI tract or pass through the urine as it is small unbound molecule, water soluble unlike bilirubin as I mentioned before, which was bound with plasma protein. So here we can see a small amount of urobilinogen will pass in urine normally. And this is the physiology of bilirubin metabolism. This is very important to know to differentiate different types of jaundice. In my next video, we will start from here and discuss jaundice in detail. Please stay connected. Again, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. This means a lot. Thank you so much for watching.